Encanto flu season. Good morning, Peppa. Morning. I'm gonna brush your hair now, okay? Shut up! I guess. The brush was full of gray and black hairs. Oh, have you been sharing your brush? Maybe. <sighs> well, sharing is nice, I guess. Share! Stop. Stop now! Yeah, I love your hair. It's so beautiful. Shut up! Peppa didn't respond. Are you going to have lunch later today? No. But you didn't eat yesterday, or the day before. Yeah, so what? Pepe, it's flu season. You need to eat so you have strength to fight off illness. Okay, sure, whatever. Are you still mad at Julieta? Of course I am. She betrayed me. I have no idea what you're talking about. She knows how upset I was about it not getting to have my baby, and then she goes and gets the pregnant just to show off. Have you even asked her if she actually is? I have the feeling that she isn't. I don't have to. It's obvious. And besides, Bruno told me. What did he tell you? Well, someone's gonna have a baby, but not you. Never mind. Meanwhile... Uh, sweetie, I'm heading off to Alma Mart. No, please don't leave me. What? Why not? I'm hurting again. I'm sure you'll be fine. You just need to eat some food. Now, Augustine's gotta go do some Augustine's. Bye! A few hours later... Oh no! He still isn't back. I wonder what happened. Oh, good! You're finally out of bed, Julieta. Oh, where is Augustine? Why do you care? After all, he doesn't love you anymore. Huh? What do you mean? I saw him with Papa. What? But I'm his wife. Why would he want to spend time with her instead? Who knows? He's always doing stupid things. I must confront him. Tia Peppa was taking a nap. Mommy charged into Tia Peppa's room and saw her sleeping. Oh, never mind. Julieta was about to leave, but then she saw a pair of glasses on Peppa's bedside table. Wait a minute. Peppa doesn't have glasses. Mommy tried to take the glasses. Julieta stepped away and the thunder stopped. Julieta got closer again and grabbed the glasses. That night... Sweetie, what's wrong? Are you still hurting? Maybe. What's it matter to you? Because I love you and I don't want you to be in pain. No, you don't love me. What do you mean? Of course I do. I'm tired. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Would you like me to massage your back and also your feet? No! The next day, early in the morning... Come on, let's go for a walk. <sighs> Oh, this early? Yes, I want to get it done before I have to start my cooking for the day. Oh, okay. Shortly after they left, Mirabelle woke up for some reason. Good morning, Casita! I should go wake everyone up so that I have people to play with. And I know exactly who I'll start with. My big sister, Isabella. Come to think of it, I haven't seen her or heard from her in a while. Oh no, what if she's dying? Why don't you love me anymore, Augustine? I do love you. I don't understand why you keep saying that I don't. Because you were spending time with Peppa instead of with me. 
Is it because I'm getting old? You don't like my gray hair? I bet you just love how redheads don't go gray. I wasn't anywhere near Peppa. I haven't even seen her in a few days. But, 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 the mummy said... Your mother is a liar, and you know that. She makes things up just to stir up trouble. So, you, you don't love Peppa? Only as a family member, nothing more. I mean, she's not even fun to hug. Her skin is so clammy, and she's so bony. Ah! I don't know why she doesn't just eat more. Why were you hugging her? She seemed sad, and I thought that it would cheer her up. Anyways, we've been out here for a while. We should head home before you get caught. Oh, no. You're right. Mommy will catch me for sure. And if she does, she'll... She'll... Ah! Hey, hey, relax. I have an idea. What is it? You can go in through the kitchen window. Oh, that's genius. Meanwhile, back at Casita. Isabella didn't answer. Oh no, she is dying. Mirabella charged into Isabella's room. I'll save you, sis. Julieta tried to enter through the window, but got stuck. Oh no. Oh no! Are you stuck, sweetie? Yes. Mommy tried not to cry. Oh, here, I'll help. <laughs> push, push, push! Peppa, what are you doing out here? Oh, I was just spreading the sunshine! Anyways, good luck getting out of your little predicament! Maybe if you were skinny like me, you wouldn't have gotten stuck. Julieta. You're too skinny, Peppa. No, I'm not. You're just jealous. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Peppa heard Isabella <laughs> screaming. Oh, no. My best friend is in trouble. Peppa ran away. Oh, she's so annoying. And ugly, too. <sighs> I hope Isabella's okay. Get out of my bed, Mirabelle! I just wanted to make sure that you weren't dying. Why would I be dying? Because you've been so quiet lately and you always stay in your room. Yeah, so what? I just want to know why. For attention. What? It worked for Tia Peppa. Julieta tumbled onto the kitchen floor. Ow, ow, ow! Isabella and Mirabelle ran into the kitchen, arguing. Julieta got up. Girls, girls, what in the world is going on? Isabella hit me with a vine. Only because you climbed into my bed. I had to make sure you weren't dying. Ah, she cares about you. That's no excuse for acting like a creep. You had no excuse for hurting her. Apologize now. No! Isabella ran away screaming. So, Mirabella, why did you think Isabella was dying? Papa walked into the kitchen. Don't listen to Mirabelle. She does stuff like this all the time. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't you remember that time several years ago? We had just finally got Ben Antonio to sleep quietly through the night. Suddenly, Mirabella starts screaming and crying, saying that he's dead. How could she even say such a thing about my perfect, precious little baby boy? Wait, is that why you hate Mirabelle? I don't even remember doing that. Shut up, you little brat! Tia Papa got really close to Mirabelle. I hate you because you're annoying and stupid and ugly. Julieta grabbed Peppa. Leave her alone. Oh, wow, you really are clammy. Clam! Yeah, and she smells like garbage. Later that day... Hey, Mirabelle, did you hear the news? No. What news? 
The fat man has the flu. Yes, maybe he'll actually die, and I won't have to feel guilty since it won't be my fault. It's flu season. You'd better be careful, or you might get sick too. Julieta, why haven't you started cooking yet? We have a guest coming over for dinner tonight, you know. Because I can't get this jar open. I've been trying all day. Try harder. I can't. And why not? My my hands are so swollen. They hurt so bad. <laughs> Abuela took the jar and opened it easily. Oh, thanks, mommy. You're so pathetic. That evening. Thanks for inviting me over. You're welcome. We're happy to have dinner with you. Oh no, 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 no! What's wrong, Mirabelle? It's the fat man! Mirabelle, you have problems. Bruno walked away. Hi. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? I just wanted to let you know, Mirabelle really wants to sit next to you at dinner tonight. That's weird, but okay. Dinner is ready. Everybody come to the table, please. Oh, no. I'd better hurry or I might have to sit next to the fat man. Mirabelle rushed to the table and sat down quickly. Mirabelle stretched her leg onto the chair next to her. No fatties allowed. Sorry I'm late. I was taking a dump. Yeah, thanks for saving a seat for me, Mirabelle. What's wrong, Mirabelle? She hates you. That's what's wrong. No, I don't. I hate him. Mirabelle pointed to the fat man. Why are you here anyways? I thought you had the flu. You're gonna get us all sick with your yucky germs. Oh, I had the flu earlier. It was only for a few minutes, though. I'm all better now. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping that you would die. Mirabelle! Over the next few days, Isabella wasn't seen or heard by anyone. Oh dear, I hope she's okay. After all, it is flu season. Well, she's your best friend. Why don't you go check on her? <sighs> okay, fine. Papa knocked on Isabella's door. Isabella, open up! Please, I'm your best friend. She's not there. Huh? What are you talking about? Isabella ran away from home a few days ago. No! My bestie! Is Mirabelle old enough to drive a car? 